So first was this 15-1, 13-year-old Bay Gelding. Unfortunately, they didn't have a school for us to try him in, so we couldn't actually jump him. And in the end, we decided he was just a bit too old and a bit too small for what I was looking for, as I was a good size for him now, so he wouldn't last me. So this next horse, I am very small on, but we knew the people who were selling it, so thought it was just worth going to see him. So don't be mean. <laughs> So this is the next horse we went to try. He was a 17 hand, 12 year old Bay Gelding who had competed up to B novice and had actually gone to Babington Grassroots in the 100 and come fourth. He had a very nice jump, but obviously he was going to be a lot for me to hold together because I'm only five foot six and he's almost 17 one. And we really liked him, but in the end, we decided he was just a bit too big. And also he had to go to a home who only used a lorry and because we use our trailer a lot, it just wasn't meant to be. So this next horse is Bay Gelding number three. He was a 15 to five year old. And as you can see, he had very nice flat work and paces. He was very easy and genuine for a five year old. And yes, he was quite behind the leg, but I think that would come as he got more powerful and older, as he was a very low mileage five year old due to COVID. So here I just do a little course and I think I get a nice shot to this first one, yep that was okay, but to the second one I completely mess up the stride and he was so good, okay that was hideous, but he just carries on and acts like I didn't just completely do, yep, but um, in the end we just decided he was a bit too low mileage for what we were looking for. So that brings us on to this Bay Mare, she was 12 years old and 15-3. She had actually competed up to advanced medium dressage and hadn't done that much jumping apart from the old cross country schooling or show jumping. But as you can see, she has very nice flat work despite me riding her very poorly because um, she was quite a lot. But as you can see here, she just does that leg yield like it is nothing and that is so nice. And when I jump her in a minute, you'll see she has the most lovely, powerful jump. And she was at, she has so much potential. And yep, I messed up stride, we'll just forget about that. But yeah, she has so much potential and would make a really nice event horse, we think. So we actually really wanted her, but in the end, the owners decided that they weren't going to drop to our budget, which was very annoying as we really liked her, but I'm sure she would find a very nice home with her next owners. So next we have this coloured gelding. He's 15 two, I think, and I'm not sure how old he was, but he'd competed up to be novice. And yeah, he also had a really nice flat work and he was quite forward, which I really liked about him. So as you can see here, he had a really nice jump and because he had that much more experience, he was much more forgiving than some of the others when I messed up the stride, which is going to happen on my first horse. As you see, got a bit of a long one there, but it's all good. Um, yeah, and because they were actually based at Bovington, um, I got to take him across country, which was very nice. Yeah, he was a bit of a legend across country actually. Yep struggling to stop it's all good just popped him over this little roll top and I actually took him through one of the hundred water combinations which you'll see later and yeah he does it like it's nothing um so that's nice when you're trying a horse And yeah, we really, really liked him, but in the end, due to a health issue, 
it meant we couldn't get him which was very sad as he was a very nice horse. So that brings us nicely on to this chestnut gelding. He is 15, 3, 9 years old and he's called Buck. His show name's Full Star Buck. And if you're following my Instagram, you'd know that this is the horse we actually ended up getting. So yes, he's lovely. He's evented up to be 100 and he is very established in his flat work, as you can see, as he got in 19 in one of his VE events. So I jumped him the next day and as you can see, he absolutely loves jumping and he's got a really nice, powerful jump. So we actually had a 10 hour journey to go and see Buck because we live down in Cornwall and he was up in Newcastle. So that's over 900 miles there and back. So quite a long way. Luckily it paid off. Um, as you can see, he's just really smart with his jumping. Then I took him in their field and as you can see he's not spooky at all which is very nice so i popped him around a little course in his field as you can see he's very genuine and then i took him on a little hack and he was very well behaved so we decided to get him bedded and then he passed which meant he was coming home and I did, I vlogged a bit of when he came home, so I hope you enjoy watching that. Okay, so this is usually Promise's stable, but Crack is in there at the minute because my mum accidentally put wood pellets in Cracker's bed and Cracker is a bit thick and likes to eat them because he thinks they look like pony nuts. So obviously that's not ideal, so he's been moved into here. But that was about a week ago now, so he will be okay to go back into his stable. Cracker's coming back into his stable, which is this one at the end. And then Promise is gonna go in this stable. And then in here, hi Craggy. This is where Buck's gonna go. I'm gonna move all the clean bedding from in there into Promise's, because Promise is on sawdust. Then I'm gonna put Buck on shavings. So I need to put that in there. <laughs> He's a bit odd. I'm going to get on muck a crack out, <laughs> muck out the stable and get ready. So quite a bit of time has passed now. Don't know if you will be able to hear me because it's very windy, but I'm going to do this now anyway. It is now 11 o'clock and the hauler person that is bringing him down, I don't even know if that's the right word, but that person has um, messaged us to say he'll be with us around 12 30 so about an hour and a half until he's come i'm just one sec let me get over this fence without getting electrocuted i did it just coming down to get promise and one of the liveries in because they have farrier once some mats are in i'll put the bedding down get their water bucks hay net in This is new stable. As you can see, I've done all that now, and I've finished this. I'm ready for Buck. It's now a lot later, and Buck still isn't here. It is about half two now. I don't know what my hair's doing. Oh well. But I'll catch up with you later, hopefully when he's arrived. I'm giving him a grass walk because he's obviously been travelling all day. Let's see what Buck thinks to take it. What is that? Oh, hey, we need to finish your vlog. It's late out. No, Buck, you're 
steaming up the camera. <laughs> it is now a few hours later and yeah, back is very settled. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I am definitely very excited for our journey and I hope you're excited to watch our journey. We say bye back. Bye. <laughs> I don't need the camera.